Hello friends, this is Gangadhar with another question on screen J Advanced 2019. So this is the question from definite integration. The question is given like this. I is an integral of this one and we need to calculate 27 I square. This is a numerical value type of question. See if you look here, the question is given like this 2 by pi of minus pi by 4 to pi by 4 dx by 1 plus e power sin x of 2 minus cos 2x dx. So to, to solve this one, the first idea what we get is integral minus a to a f of x dx is equal to integral minus a to a f of minus x dx. So this integral value is again equals to the what? Integral minus pi by 4 to pi by 4 dx by replace x with minus x. So we get if we replace x with minus x here we have e power minus sin x into by replacing x here with minus x cos of minus 2x is again cos 2x so no change happens here so this is 2 minus cos 2x so these two are equal and there is a slight difference between these two since these two are equal we need to add these two values these two integral values are equal and again we have i is equals to 2 by pi of this one. This is i as well as this is also i. So, I will add these two. If we add these two, i plus i to i, 2 by pi is the common thing and among these two, 2 minus cos 2x dx is the common thing and we have here 1 by 1 plus e power sin x and here 1 by 1 plus e power minus sin x. So, from this, by adding these two, we have that 2i is equals to 2 by pi of integral minus pi by 4 to pi by 4 1 by 2 minus cos 2x into 1 by 1 plus e power sin x plus 1 by 1 plus e power minus sin x dx. By simple algebraic simplification, we get the simplified value of this bracket as 1. So, we can remove this. So this value is 1, so we left with this one. So 2i is equals to this thing, right? And then if you cancel out these two, we have i is equals to 1 by pi of minus pi by 4 to pi by 4, 1 by 2 minus cos 2x dx. Another lucky observation here it is, 2 minus cos 2x is an even function. Since it is an even function and the integral is running over minus pi by 4 to pi by 4, we will rewrite this integral as 2 times of integral 0 to pi by 4, 1 by 2 minus cos 2x dx. Because it is an even function, we can split that minus pi by 4 to pi by 4 as 2 times of 0 to pi by 4. So finally what I have? I have again, after cancelling these two, i is equals to 2 by pi of integral 0 to pi by 4, 1 by 2 minus cos 2x dx. So we need to solve this one. To solve this, I am rewriting this cos 2x as 1 minus tan square x divided by 1 plus tan square x. See, the, 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 this is a direct rule for cos 2x. Then on simplification, we have that this is equals to 2 by pi of integral 0 to pi. This 1 plus tan square x coming up and then becomes like secant square x dx divided by 2 plus 2 tan square x minus 1 plus tan square x. See, this is nothing but 2 minus 1 is 1. 2 tan square x plus tan square x is 3 tan square x. So we have here it is 2 by pi of integral 0 to pi secant square x. See, not pi, this is pi by 4. Sorry, it is. This is pi by 4. Secant square x, you just like that tan x as. Like, see this is 2 minus 1 is 1 plus 2 tan square x plus tan square x is 3 tan square x and here we have it is secant square x dx. To solve this, you just have this, uh, in, see the derivative of tan x is secant square x dx. The derivative of tan x is secant square x dx and this is 1 by 1 plus 3 tan square x. This is nothing but root 3 tan x whole square. And for this, the direct integral value is 2 by pi of 
tan inverse of root 3 tan x. And since we have the coefficient as root 3, we also get it, it is root 3. 2 by pi root 3 of tan inverse root 3 tan x with the limits 0 to pi by 4. So to solve this, we need to replace the limits. See, by replacing what we have. See, by replacing, okay, I'm um, this one. To solve that, see, this is equals to 2 by pi root 3 of, by replacing pi by 4, tan pi by 4 is 1, and root 3 into 1 is root 3, tan inverse of root 3 is pi by 3, tan inverse of root 3 is pi by 3, minus, replacing 0, this is 0, tan inverse of 0 is 0. So, pi and pi will get cancelled. We have it is 2 by 3 root 3. But what is actually i? So, we have the i value as 2 by 3 root 3. Square it. i square is equal to 4 by 27. And finally, 27 i square is equal to 4. And the answer for this question is 4. This is easy question from calculus. But it takes a little bit of time. And regular practice automatically gives the time and incontinence. Thank you.